So when I was in college, I, like a lot of students, wanted to become a doctor and I thought I was going to go to medical school and I was actually working with engineers about quarters that really opened my eyes to what it could even mean to be an engineer. I've always been very interested in development and using engineering to solve problems in low-income communities, so I saw EWB as a perfect opportunity to get involved in that. I guess before college, I really wanted to understand how engineering could have an impact in terms of public health, basic equity, the access to natural resources, and I searched through Harvard clubs, I saw engineers about borders, and I thought that was just the perfect opportunity for all of that. You know, as like a non-engineer, um, I think I come at this with like a unique perspective and just realizing that, I mean, maybe you don't always have to be an engineering major just to make a difference in this um, in this project. So just being able to apply like problem solving uh, you know, skills and abilities is enough. I was interested in travel and international development, and so this seems like something related to service, something where I got to travel, and I turned out that I did love those aspects of it, but really what I loved was the project work, the teamwork of it. I wanted to be a doctor to work with people, but it turns out engineers work with people a lot. Especially before coming into college, I really thought engineering was, you know, you do the equations, you get your calculations, you have your final design based on what all of the engineers think, and that's it, you're done. You can pass it along to be built. And after being involved in EWB for three years now, I realized that that's not what it is at all. And that in order to create meaningful work, you need context specific solutions. You need to understand your client. You need to understand who you're working with and how they'll use the system. And that human social element is so fundamental to being a good engineer. This is the, it is my career trajectory. Like <laughs> there is nothing that influenced it more. I started working on this project. I loved it. I loved the teamwork. I loved the work that we're doing. It's Water is so important and being in a town where there isn't running water and then working to install it and coming back the next year and like nothing looks different because the pipes are all installed underground and yet you know when you walk down the street like everyone's sinks are working uh, was just so exciting to me that I couldn't stop doing it. Something I, I've seen for several years is a, a passion or a drive for, for students in general to want to give back as part of their education. What I would like to think though, is wherever our students go, whether it's the aerospace industry, governments, robotics, tech, big tech, you name it, they're gonna take their experiences and, and really draw on that when they're the leaders in whatever industry or job they go to post-Harvard.